Authorities are still looking for the man responsible for a fatal hit and run crash in Washington County. It happened last week in Vernon. As News 13's Thomas Schultz tells us, the families of the victim's family, I should say, isn't angry, but they say they want some closure. We just want someone to come forward. Um, we have no hard feelings. Last week, 65 year old Mike Kirkland was walking down Holmes Valley Road when he was hit and killed by a car. His family says he decided to go for a walk that night. Hours later, Florida Highway Patrol knocked on his home to tell his wife the news. It's hard to believe something like that. Kirkland then called her daughter. I was asleep and my mom called. I screamed because I didn't think it was true. I was scared. <laughs> Hurt. Mike and Don Kirkland celebrated their 45th wedding anniversary just three days before he died. Now she's asking the motorist to come forward. The family says they're not mad at the driver. They're just looking for closure. I know that they're scared. I can only imagine what they're going through. Florida Highway Patrol officials say they don't know the maker model of the car, but Don says Mike lived a full life and spent his last day the best way he could. He went to church that morning. They said he'd been at the altar. Young people around him praying for him and uh, didn't know what was going to happen. After church, she says he had lunch with congregants. Hours before his death, he unknowingly ate his favorite meal for the last time. The pastor's wife makes coconut pie for him and uh, he, he looks forward to it. <laughs> Let's put it like that. He did. Now his family is left with questions they hope will someday be answered. We don't know what happened. We don't know why things happened like it did, except we don't know if he just didn't see them. In Vernon, Thomas Schultz, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Well, if you have any information at all about this case, please contact the Florida Highway Patrol.